Well, so I'm tapping my gearbox for assist today for the Comanche. Um, went ahead and got the pilot holes drilled. I started on the top one, decided I'd do the bottom one. And um, I don't know if you can see that, but the drill bit broke off inside because this drill I borrowed from my neighbor is way too strong for what I need. And I'm using cheap drill bits. And it finally broke through, whipped around, and broke the bit off inside. So that's awesome. I was trying not to make a mess, and I was trying to do my best without getting any sort of metal inside the case. But who knows now? I guess we're just going to run it and find out what happens. Um, but basically, if you've never seen how to do this, there's hundreds of videos out there. But I'm making a video myself, just for fun. Um, basically, what you're going to want to do is this here is how it sits in the vehicle bolts up to this side of the frame um, these are the same with all comanches um, all xjs um, and i believe some yjs and tjs but don't quote me on that um, so basically what you're going to want to do is <clears throat> if yours is not already flat you need to grind this piece flat um, so it's easier to drill and tap. But what you're gonna wanna do is go right there along the seam, drill your first hole there. On your second hole, go right below it on this hole here. So you wanna go straight over underneath that and drill that one. Um, you're gonna wanna drill it out. First do a pilot hole, then drill out to 7 16 And then you're gonna wanna tap with quarter inch NTP um, so yeah once I get this done once I get it drilled out I'm going to drill out to the 7 16 once I do that I'm going to best way as possible each time you, you know you drill it out get a magnet in there and get all the metal shavings cleaned up best you can um, and then when you go and start to tap put some grease on the tap so it'll collect all the metal shavings when you're uh, tapping the hole that way it won't, um, you know, you minimize the most amount of trash in there as possible. Um, for this piece here, you do the top one first and then you do the bottom one. Uh, once you get it tapped the first all the way where it dead ends, you're going to want to basically cut it in half, the tap, and re-tap it. So that way you got a good bit of um, actual threads because the way the tap works, it doesn't actually start threading until about halfway up the tap. So... That's the best thing to do for that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna work on getting this piece of drill bit out that I broke off inside and uh, I'll go from there. Wish me luck. <laughs> well, I finished up drilling out the box and I did get the broken drill bit out. Thankfully it was just right off in there. I was able to just to grab it with some pliers and. It came right out, no problems. Um, so yeah, this is not the ideal way to do this. Um, even if you are extremely careful, you will still get metal shavings inside of this box. Um, I keep cleaning this and cleaning this and cleaning this and I'm still getting metal shavings out. You know, and it's kind of hard to actually clean it because it's a hole. And it's pretty thick. Um, and it may be the fact that I missed the hole a little bit. I thought I was right on the money when I put my punch in. But apparently I wasn't. But I still got plenty of hole there for this fluid to come through and work. Um, but I just kept cleaning and cleaning. And there was big old chunks coming out of this thing back in here and here. And, you know, I'd stop every couple seconds blow it out put it into the magnet until I finally broke free um, you know again I may have had so much just because I missed the hole and I was drilling on the cast part and not actually so I was making a whole bunch more metal that could be a possibility um, but the ideal situation is to take this thing apart just because you don't want to run the risk of um, you know getting a brand new box or even an old box when you know one that works drilling it out filling it full of trash and then putting that through your entire 
hydraulic system. Been messing up the ram, messing up the box, messing up the pump, all of it, none of it. You know, I could definitely do something um, drastic, but I really don't care because these boxes are dime a dozen in the junkyard. Um, 40 bucks, you know, I'll take that chance just because I don't feel like taking this apart. Um, so yeah, I've got to go to the store and get a tap for this because I don't know where mine is. I thought I had one, but apparently I don't. So I'm gonna go to the store, I'm gonna get one of these, and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna tap this thing. Most likely I'm gonna plug it just because I don't need to run it right now. Um, or mainly the fact just because I'm low on funds. Um, I gotta get this thing done for Jeep Beach in, what's today, the 20th, 21st, something like that. Um, it's gotta be done by April, a month away. I gotta be driving it down to Jeep Beach. So, uh, I don't really need it, but it's something I wanna have. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap it and just plug it for now. Um, also, the main reason I had it out was because I drilled this out to 5.8 so I can run heim joints for my steering. Um, I'm also going to do the same for the knuckles. I got a piece of DOM tubing that's 3 quarter inch OD, 5.8 ID. So I'm going to drill the knuckles out, slip that tubing in, weld it in place, and so then I got a 5.8 bolt um, instead of a tapered hole. So I can run my heim joints and I don't have any sort of uh, slop in those. But yeah, um, I'll finish this video up once I finish tapping it. Alright, so I forgot to finish taking my video when I tapped this box. But uh, the box is in. You can see it clears. I've got plenty of space here. Um, for my hydraulic lines but it's in what I ended up doing was I ended up buying two taps uh, I ran both of them through with this long one and then I ended up cutting it in half with a cutoff wheel and finishing out that bottom hole there um, the threads don't even start catching on the fitting until about right up in here well, maybe it's about right up in here. They just start to catch at this point here. So you gotta go a ways for this thing to actually thread in. Get some meat on it. Um, but it's in. And simple as that. There's really not much to it. Obviously, when you go to do this, you wanna put grease on these uh, threads on the tap just to keep it. It really collects all the metal it does a really good job at collecting the metal in these chutes right here. Um, so that way you keep as much trash out of that pump as possible. But what I plan to do is whenever I get these lines hooked back up, I'm going to just run a hydraulic line straight to a bucket, both of them. Um, and then I'm gonna kind of cycle the steering back and forth to try and flush out any metal that may be um, inside this box just so that way I don't start pumping it through a cylinder or pump it through my whole uh, system here. But yeah, I appreciate you watching. Hope it explained it in a way that you can understand um, and show that you can do it yourself, save you some money and not pay a bunch of money to have a shop do it. Appreciate you watching. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. You know all that fun stuff. Appreciate y'all watching.